it is currently 5.30 in the morning. I'm gonna head out here to test out a few things on the water. Um, gonna be fishing, hopefully, the Granham Hatch or um, the Hendrickson Hatch. It is spring. Um, if I don't get hatches, then we're gonna get down and dirty and get after some fish um, on the long rod. So we'll see uh, what happens, but pretty stoked. It's going to be a nice warm day. I've had kind of a cold snap, so let's get after it. So I caught that fish. I found some I found a, some nice broken water behind and in front of, kind of like between two different uh, structures. Um, it looked slow enough for browns and my point fly is a caddis. Uh, pupa in my and then the, the other one that he actually took was a flashback pheasant tail I've got a few small uh, midges coming off so this could have been just like a mistaken identity but hey it works and um, it was a nice little fun brownie so I'm gonna fish the same scene because he took it at the end and I'm probably gonna work my way down that way down like downstream which I don't usually like to do but uh, for some reason I I guess it looks like we have a, uh, a small white mayflies maybe coming off, so I might switch to a white midge and see what happens too. So, uh, yeah. But so far the uh, the maverick, super sensitive, felt that take actually, and I just gave a nice little poke and uh, off to the races. Got water in my boot. I'm pretty sure I have a seam leak somewhere. They're five year old waders, so makes sense, but this is an incredible dry fly rod. This is that Maverick four weight. My gosh, I can you point your finger where you want it to go and it lands there. It is unbelievably easy to cast. I'm gonna try a few more for dries, but probably switch it back up for nymphs and switch locations one last time. Trying all these different spots. 
leaking my waders. One last spot to go. One fish for the morning. Hopefully I can get a couple more. It's only like maybe like 10 o'clock, but I'm still kind of disappointed. The hatches were weird, getting tons of small varieties. Nothing really strong coming off, so. Prospect the next spot, let's see what happens. And uh, just land a nice sucker and I'm gonna go to one more spot and call it a day. But, um, it's been a weird one. So the cook and wash them was exceptional. For being a nine foot rod, I actually got to nymph with it and it felt pretty good. Unbelievably light, which is cool. Um, definitely underrated for what kind of rod it is. And it casts dry flies unbelievably easily. Like the casting you saw, I just lifted and poked it back out and it delivered. Um, as far as how well I fished, I mean, I thought it was okay, but I couldn't capitalize on the weird hatches. But then again, it's the second time I fished that stream, so we'll see. The other couple things I looked into or checked out while I was out, it was the, uh, what's it called? The Scientific Angler's Euro uh, head and um, the, uh, what do you call it? The leader. I thought the leader was a bit long, so I cut back on it. And then uh, the head itself was actually nice, although I will probably have to continually add um, line dressing because it felt a little gritty. It's not going to hurt the rod or anything, it just um, was was what it was. It uh, did the job well, but um, wasn't like a high-end line, but it didn't need to be. And other than that, I didn't, I feel like my fly selection right now, I need to go a little heavier. And because uh, I'm not a fan of using as much split shot as I was having to use. Um, I also used, for the first time in a long time, a, uh, an indicator and uh, the indicators that I used were um, these it sets you free outdoors next gen indicators and they did well I fished the small size and put lots of weight at the end of it and it float like a well like foam <laughs> And um, easy to see. Uh, didn't catch anything on them, but then again, I didn't really have a lot of confidence in those flies. And uh, some upcoming exciting stuff, though. Got lots of new stuff to try, including a Cortland Nymph Mark One, a Cortland uh, Competition, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get my hands on the Mark Two. But um, I love Cortland stuff. Um, but I'm very curious to see what the next gen stuff looks like. Um, gonna get out with the Cook and Warsham for bass and for other stuff. But um, lots of stuff coming up. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for the series. Um, check out if you want to buy a hat or some, some of my other uh, fly fishing apparel. Links are down below. It's called Free Fly. Um, or Fly Life, rather. It's called Fly Life, and um, it's kind of like a little passion project. Um, and I'll be wearing some of the stuff coming up, but uh, that helps the channel. The hats are just for you guys. Um, and uh, check out Patreon. Give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel. And um, I'll do individual reviews of the different stuff moving forward. But this was just fun poking around. And enough of me rambling. Until next time, guys. Catch you guys on the flip side. Tight lines. And we're out.